Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. It's Kay here again and I've got another project for you, this time using the Vintage Florals, which was the freebie in the Create with Scrimping Mummy group Friday of last week and it has proven to be such a pleasure to work with. It's very, very repetitive, but I don't mind that in the slightest because at the end of the day it's the images that that make this kind of project so without further ado I'll take you through it the base is made up using two envelopes square envelopes which are six by six so it's a, a nice six by six by six by six envelope and there are two of them to make a little um, folder affair. I've used the flap of one of the envelopes to make my wraparound closure. So it's all very, very simple. There is nothing to get in a sweat about. The envelopes, as I say, form the base of the project. That I've reinforced both front and back with black card because I want it to be sturdy. It's the mainstay of, of what is holding everything together. It's hot off the press. I'm covered in you. So please excuse me. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, <clears throat> from the kit, which I think it's it, it amounts to a kit. It's a Vintage Florals Part 1 and a Vintage Florals Part 2, both of which were free and the pockets, tags and all that kind of thing are all ultimately available throughout a couple of Amanda's um, kits and digital freebies. So what I've actually done is made my own little tags utilised the pockets that came with, from the freebie on Friday and just made little places to make interactive areas within the little envelope pouch. So this is one of the postcards that comes within the kit. Beautiful, I've lined it all with black cardstock. It's quite lightweight so it does lend itself to acting as a reinforcer for the digital printout rather than um, a substantial affair that needs to withstand a lot of, of use. And that just slots into that little pocket. Now people that have followed Amanda for a long time uh, she did a kit like this or a freebie like this in one of her other kits and you get the, the base, you get the pocket and then you get something to pop into it. So I very much followed that trend because I think it's very, very effective. Lined the card with, with all the digital papers that were available just to keep it nice and pretty. And then you... Oh, I've got damp glue. Oh dear. Open it up like so and I follow through with this little edging um, punch and it just adds that little bit of extra something to the pages to make them a little bit more pretty. Not that they need a whole lot more because the papers themselves are really really delightful and in each of the pockets which essentially is the, the pocket fold of the envelope are two more of the little pocket tags. Again, you've got the little area inside that you can write in if you'd like to. There's another little pocket here, all part of the giveaway that you can put little keepsakes in and that kind of thing. The inking around is all quite natural to the kit so you don't even have to worry about adding any distress ink or anything like that to the overall project and what I've done with these once you um, take take the little pocket 
out of this flap area like this is just made it like a little flip so that pulls out and then you've got the thumb pull here and a little bit of wordage the papers are gorgeous you really have no need to offer up any other form of decoration unless you absolutely want to I think a little bit of wordage goes a long way and that just says imagination and the rest just does the work for you it's absolutely gorgeous I've not inked any of the envelope because I want that little bit of freshness to contrast with the decorative borders that I've put to signify the various areas of use within the little folder and then again we've got the same thing but you see what I'm saying about the images I think there are four or five of these no tell a lie two pockets but then there are four or five other images that you can cut out and utilize in this way and this is another of the vintage floral pockets that came from the kit again another little postcard there are several of these and I just printed them out I, I just love them it's muted but it is so so pretty and it lends itself to any amount of different projects as I'm sure you can see whilst you're looking at all these wonderful images and then the flap again of the little envelope just slots into the thumb pull area and makes that look very fulsome and of course when it goes into the pocket it looks nice and interesting because you can see that it's got quite a few little bits in it. The circles here are two and three quarter inch and I've just lined them with a bit with a bit of the and they're both made in exactly the same way. I lined them with a little bit of the music paper that came from the kit, fussy cut out some of the floral images just to add to the circle, raised that up then on foam and just made it look a little bit more of a platform of prettiness against all those beautiful floral tributes on the designer paper behind. Everything is lined into the pockets and that was using another background sheet. You know, it's just such lovely, lovely things to work with. I, I can't praise it enough. You know, you, it is entirely up to you how you utilise digital papers and to anyone that, again, that might say to you, oh, well, you're not, you're cheating. You're not really doing anything very much with it because all the work is done for you. That isn't strictly true because you have to decide where you want the papers to go. You have to decide how you want to enhance the images that you choose to use. So there is quite a large element of using your imagination and creating what pleases you within the digital papers. It's been the same all the time. And when you think of people that go out and buy pads upon pad of paper and do exactly the same thing, <laughs> I, I don't quite understand where, where people see digital papers as a bit of a poor relative, because in my book, they are absolutely outstanding. And, you know, Amanda has delivered besides the freebies that she gives away, some absolutely extraordinary kits, some things to help with journal makers so they don't have to fly around looking for images and things like that. I know she is very, very conscientious about copyright and that kind of thing, so she tends to troll for hours looking for things that aren't going to cause any problems to any of the people that decide to use her digital papers. And I think most digital designers are of that ilk. They don't like to contravene other people's work. So it's it's a given standard, I would say. However, off at a tangent she goes and back on the on the thing again. This then closes and I've done exactly the same thing on the back but again with different images so that it follows through 
and again I've got my lovely little writing area there or just a little postcard tucked into that pocket using the same tag and pocket scenario I just think it's so pretty and it and it does allow you to add a great deal to your work and uh, that is that in a canat shell really the closure is um, a satin affair ribbon and I wanted this kind of russet colour because I think it is a bit vintagey and it's also got a little bit of sparkle in it so it makes it look jolly attractive when it's all closed up and it's not a huge project to settle down and work on it's just something to occupy your day isn't it and use it as a friend gift as always it would fit into the pocket of a journal as always you don't have to be wondering what you would do with it once it's made um, so I hope you've enjoyed seeing my creation with the Friday freebie from Amanda and the Create with Scrimping Mummy group on Facebook. I will leave a link to Amanda's channel below as always. Do pop along and say hello if you're not already a member and then there is the Kofi shop linked on Amanda's page which will take you to where you will find her page on Kofi if you're at all interested but thank you for spending this time with me once again take care everyone have fun happy crafting bye bye for now